Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Today we're going to be grabbing some old book pages, just something from a, an old novel. Porous paper is best for absorptive purposes. And I thought I would just um, show you some different techniques to play with the book pages, maybe, maybe in a different way. I don't know. First of all, I'm just going to, I have a, this is just a, uh, a thin, shallow pan. I just thought it would be easier to contain the mess that I'm going to make because there will be there will be a mess, and um, this is I have a whole series on using up book pages, and you can use the book pages up with all those different techniques and designs to make pockets and tucks and all sorts of fun stuff. But this is just a fun thing to do with book pages that might be might be um, a little different. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Okay, so step one is stenciling. So I thought I would just grab some stencils and grab a paddle brush. These paddle brushes make it really easy to stencil. So I am just, I'm going to stencil. So now you're going to witness stenciling. This is, what is this peeled paint? Color, distress ink, paddle brush, whoop, fuzzball of unknown origin being cast off as if it was never there. And you can spritz this with a little water to kind of wake it up. It's not a bad idea. Okay. I just use plain water. I don't add anything to it. Works. It seems to work fine. Um, and I'm going to stencil just some areas on these book pages, just for a little variety. See, we're getting a little. That's pretty already, right? You can already use that for fun stuff. But we're going to take this and amp it up a little bit. We're going beyond stenciling. That's what we're doing. Okay, this has hearts on it. That's kind of pretty. Well, when we're here, we might as well just put the hearts on it. I guess I could have gone with pink there. You can use any colors that you like. Um, I have my old friend, worn lipstick. Always a nice pink. Do I have a pink paddle? I think I do. This has a little black on it, but, you know. She probably cost pot. Po oh, I just I turned that totally black. Well, let's just do it anyway. Okay. Yeah, you should probably not do that, but if you do, carry on. Carry on. That's all I can say. That's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, that's nice already. Okay, so that's those. And it's easy to do for these book pages just magically fit here. That was not pre-planned or anything. That just sort of happened. Here's some roses. You can buy a lot of these stencils. Oh gosh, you can get them everywhere now, but Etsy, Amazon. Oh, that was the wrong color. Etsy, Amazon, eBay. Uh, AliExpress, probably Timu now. That's a big one that a lot of people are using. Um, they have a craft section. I haven't really delved into the craft section. Has anybody been in there? Anything good? Anything we need to know about? Um, I have bought some jewelry and stuff like that off there. It seemed to be okay. So, um, yeah. Just have fun with whatever you're doing. And today it's stenciling book pages. And then we're going to do some other things to it. So just take it to a different level. Okay, so we have that one and one more. Maybe we'll do, well, this is pretty. Oh, maybe we'll do this one. It's like a, a mandala design. Um, maybe we'll do blue. Do I have a blue paddle brush? And if you don't, you just use whatever one you have. That's what we do. Here we go. We're in. It's a dark color, so it'll, you know, deal with all the weirdness of any color mixing, but no, we seem to be having a pretty true blue here, so that's kind of nice. And you can you can put on other sections of it. It doesn't have to be perfect or get the whole stencil on. You can just get par parts of it. Portion parts are fine. All right, so there we go. I have a double page here. I'm sensing a double page. Okay, so then I thought, let's amp this up a little bit. Let's put the right covers on the right inks. I need the blue and then the green and we are good. Okay. So I'm going to take these out of here and I'm going to add a little water to this tray. It's probably not the right way to do this. Oh well. A little water to the tray. A little more. Okay. And now I'm going to get some. These I got at Aldi but they're instant coffee crystals like El Cheapo coffee. You don't want expensive stuff. You want El Cheapo coffee crystals because you're not going to drink it. Okay, we're just going to, we're making coffee dye. Yeah, look at us making coffee dye. It's a very easy process. We have now made coffee dye. Do I have something to stir this with? No, this is called finger stirring. Okay, because I'm just making a saturated 
coffee dye. I'm going to kind of hope that all the crystals dissolve. I'm not using hot water. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm not using old coffee from the pot, which you can totally use because uh, I, I make mine by the cup. So I pretty much drink what I make. I don't really have a lot of leftover. Um, but this you can control the um, intensity of the color. And if you find that you, your crystals are not dissolving, it's because there's too much dissolved coffee already in it. And sometimes you need to add a little more water. Sometimes you need to add a little more crystal, but you'll find your happy place. Okay, I need a, I need a something like this. There we go. That's what we need right there. And what I thought I would do, I don't know if this technique is going to work, but I think it will. And um, I'm actually going to do this with a whole bunch of these. I have a stack of these. I wanted to try this. What I want to do is create a, a dark border on all the pages at one time. Let's see if it works. Okay, so the paper is porous enough. I'm going to rock it back and forth a little. Um, see if it's going in there. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit on the edges. Sometimes you have to slide it around a little bit. Um, now, they, they are going to tear more easily, so you have to be careful because they'll be wet. But if you're ginger with them, yes. Now remember, the ink I'm using is water soluble, so it's gonna make the ink run. But that's what I'm kind of going for, these abstract, weird little design thingies. Just thought it would be kind of fun. So as you're seeing the ink come in here, it's starting to move the, the, the dye. And you can just like, you can make drip designs if you want to, okay. Or not, you don't have to. I just flicked coffee all over myself. Yep, and I'm wearing a white outfit. Yep, that's how it goes. Um, so let's see. And you know, you can color or not color these as much as you want. See, these look really cool colored. And you don't even have to get the whole thing. Sometimes it's kind of cool if you have little white spots here and there. And I'm just gonna like, see, or not all of it. You don't have to get all of it. I mean, Sometimes we think like, oh, I didn't get the whole thing. No, it's okay. You don't need to get the whole thing. It actually looks kind of cool when you have pieces and little parts that are not totally done. So you can do it relatively quickly if you want to do this. And uh, yes, I'm making a complete mess of my desk while I'm doing this, but I'm, it's fun. So it's okay. And it's, guess what? It's, it's my mess to clean up. That's right. We know where this all leads. Pam cleaning up her desk yet again, as all things do in the craft room. Um, now... We can go even further because I pulled out my distress inks and sprays and I thought maybe we'd use some, um, I don't know, I just I had this crazy idea of using some paper punch cutouts of hearts and circles and things like that, which I probably have already pre-cut up. Um, or you can just hand cut those. Uh, maybe a cardstock would be a great material to do it out of. All right, I think that's enough for now. I and mean, we have these, these are nice. I'm just gonna put these over here because I'm not sure I'm gonna monkey with them anymore. Gotta be careful because they're wet, remember that? So just put them aside. If you have some plastic, you can put them down on. Old shower curtain or some painters. See, I love that. I just love the edging. That just looks really cool to me. I don't know. Just something neat about it. Look at this. This is really cool. Look how pretty that is. It's getting all soapy soppy. It's just really pretty edging on that. I don't know. It's just, just another way to play with coffee dye. And it's such a nice, useful, vintage brown color. We can use it so many ways. But I think if I can get these two to, to part, yes, we can. I'm just going to put these. They're, they're all rimmed now very nicely in the coffee dye. It's just really cool. It was very fast and very easy. And I just want you to know about the, the fast and the easy ways to make cool things. So these are just some fun ones. Now, these ones are more color. Ooh, these are really messy. Um, but these are obviously more saturated, still very wet, but we're still going to play with them and have some fun and make a giant mess here. Okay, I do have a little plastic down here, so it's all okay. And then, what are you going to do, Pam? You are going to, okay, let me get those punches, those things that are punched. I have a drawer called punched. Random shapes punched, pre-punched, like circles, um you know, label shapes, you like other stuff, just weird stuff. So let's see the idea. I don't know if this is going to work. I have a funny feeling I need to move this. Let me move that. Okay. Sunny is nowhere to be found to drink that. Okay. So let's do a plain, let's do like maybe, whoop, dropped it. A, um, this feels like more than one page. Eh, we'll just make it one page. It is now one page. 
Yes. Well, maybe it is one page. It kind of these kind of do feel like one page now, unless they're all doubles. Oh, I think I see two pages. Totally two pages. Look at that. All right, let's just grab these four. These are nicely brown on the edge, and let's just go put some like random shapes down. Like here's things that I've cut out. Um, it can be anything. It doesn't even have to be a particular shape, but it's we're using it as a as a mask actually, just to mask things. That's what we do with masks. We we hide what's behind it and we're just going to spray over it. Now this you might muck up whatever it is so you got to be willing to let go of whatever it is. Yeah okay so here's some like here's a little leaf. Here's oh, what's this is like a, a, cricut, a cricket thing. I know it's not cricut it's cricket um, but I always say it wrong. Um, here's some petally like things. Put some petal things down. Here's a, like a leafy thing. Uh, here's a big circle. Maybe put a big circle there. Let me put that there. And just see where all this comes out when we bring out the big guns of, you know what I'm talking about, uh, distress inks. Okay, I don't think I'm going to use that one. Um, oh, here's kind of a cool square. It's a cool square cut out of coffee dyed paper of all things. All right, so just random different things. Okay, as if the wind came along and blew them down. Here's some other little leafy things. And I'm kind of using this the way we used nature before, where we used leaves and things like that as decorative things to spray upon ourselves. Let's see. Okay, but I'm picking out a random. What are you? Milled lavender. No, not you. Tattered rose. Okay, I have no idea what this is going to look like. We're just going to... Well, so now we hope the things don't jump. Let's see what happens. Okay, we'll do those two. And we'll do the bottom ones in some kind of blue or something. This is uh, tumbled glass. Okay, the first one was tattered rose. Okay, I have no idea what's going to happen. We're just going for it. Whoop, don't move. Oh, I have another idea. Oh, some of the stuff's moving. There we go. So spritz close to it, I think is the technique. Oh, things do hop. They do move. There's movement on the paper. We can put a little color over there, different colors. What the heck, right? We can do that. Maybe we'll, we'll cross those colors. Why not? And put some, okay. There, all right. So now look at that. Now we're gonna come along and we're going to put another, oh, we see there's two here. Let's just see what happens if we do this. Let's see if it's worth it. Oh, we're going to get our hands all inky and we're going to have fun washing it all off. But it is water soluble ink, so it's not going to be that hard to get apart. Let's see what we got. Is this worth it even doing? <laughs> okay, there are some subtle relief images here. Oh, that, that, that came off. And not, not much though. Let's see how this one went. Uh, not a bad background, but it's you can see some shape, some variable shape. Not much. Who are we kidding? Like, let, let's say this is like a big flop. Um, okay, maybe this one's better. Let's hope for that. Okay, we got maybe a little more shape. Maybe we need a little more intensity in. Oh, I have an idea. Okay, maybe this one will show more. Let's see. Okay, these, should, these do show a little better. The color was a little stronger. Um, but we have some background going on. We're not negating that. We have something. Something is happening, not much, but it's something. And, okay, so we have those. Now let's, let's bring in, whoops, let's bring in our stencil idea again. And the paddle brush over top of this as it's wet. What will happen when we're using the Distress inks? Okay, let's see. Let's bring in a color, what should we use? Let me go bold and get a black or something. That would be really cool. Let's just see what that looks like because I think that would be really awesome. Let me find the darkest, dirtiest paddle brush I have. It's got to be my little broken one because I use it for everything. I just have a feeling it's going to be really cool. Okay, so I don't think I need to add a lot of water because there's water already on the paper. I don't know. This is all in my mind. We're going to find out. Okay, I'm getting good intensity. Ink over here. Okay, nobody move. All right. So basically, I'm trying to do background elements and then bring foreground elements by putting this darker stuff on top. 
That's, I'm making this up as I go. You realize that. Um, I'm just playing. I'm playing with the paper. This is classic, just playing with the paper. Who are we kidding? And just seeing where it takes us. So let's see what we're looking at. Well, that's kind of cool. And that shows up, right? And that's sort of pretty. I got a very pretty piece of paper. I mean, yeah, it's not rocket science, but uh, we got we got something. Okay, so let's do this one. He's still a little damp. And maybe we'll come along with this stencil. We'll do you. Maybe we will spritz this and see if we get really intense black. Look at it. I got black overspray on my fingers. Maybe that's a good sign that there's a lot of black richness to be coming out on this design. Here we go. No idea what's going on here. I, you don't have to do the whole thing, but you can. Like I said, you can get these stencils everywhere now. And they're not very expensive. And just look for inexpensive ones because that'll be fine. They really, And you can make your own stencils just by cutting shapes out of stuff and reusing it and maybe coating it all with plastic or something or kind of packing tape. If you had paper, cut it out. And then, I don't know. I don't know exactly what you would do. But, you know, maybe just go buy the stencils. It'll be easier. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, that's cool. Okay, I need a little more. I shorted myself. Let's just finish this. There we go. Oh, that's very pretty. I mean, it's got some background. It's got text. It's got, like, it almost looks like um, scrapbook paper. All right, so this guy. Let me get a different stencil. Um, here's a stencil I haven't used in a while. This is the negative of the tree, the tree branches, which is a very popular stencil. Um, but let's, instead of the black, let's use brown. Let's use, I think I can use the same one because it's the dark one. You know what I mean? It's the dark one. Okay. All dark colors go to this one. Okay. Here we go in here. What are we going to get? What are we going to see? This is just going to be so pretty with the, the blue and stuff in the background. I have high hopes. I think this one's going to be amazing. I just really do think so. And this is fun. This is fun. You just have a bunch of book pages and you want to play. I mean, you, the book pages with the text are beautiful anyway, but when you start doing things to them, I don't know, they just take on a life of their own. They're just so pretty. That's, you have to admit, that, is, that one's kind of pretty. That's like a take it home baby. That's, that's a good one. Yeah. So, and here we go. We're just going to carry on. So this is starting to dry. Um, let me do a different one. I have different stencils. Um, any stencil, Pam. Just grab a step. For gosh sakes, just pick one. Okay. Yeah, you can hear me rummaging. Uh, that's me rummaging. All right, I'm back. This is a pretty one. It has a lot of delicateness in it, but this has words and stuff. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's do this. And maybe we'll go for a completely different color scheme just so you can see. I think the darkness looks good, but let's go completely off. We're going to go with Kitsch Flamingo. It's a pink. It has no business being here, but it's going to be here right now. Let's see if I can find a pink. Does that look pink? Yeah, it'll be pink for today. Okay, let's give it a little. This is a new one, so it should be lots of ink in there. And let's see what we got going here. Well, let's make it a little darker, but well, whatever. Okay, let's see how this looks. Okay. Just getting it really on there. Saturating it. There's keys, vintage keys. That's kind of cool. Can we do different colors? That's kind of cool. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, I like that. Nope, this, the, I would consider that a winner. That's very pretty. Um, okay, I'm going to put the big key down here. You could do a different color at this point, or you could just keep coming with the same color. Totally crafter's choice. It's always crafter's choice, which is nice in our world. We get to do what we want. We don't have to listen to anybody. We just play. All right. That's pretty. I like that. That has possibilities. You can come over this and do something over top of it. You don't have to stop there. This is where I go too far. Okay. We're just going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the tree on here and just put it. I just want to see what it does. It just seems very strange to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it lightly and just see what a light tree background over this very light, very faint. Not too intense, but it's going to be present. Let's just see. Oh, I think that's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, that gives it some richness. I do like this mysterious now. Yeah, I like that. Very pretty. See the little tree thingies there? Very light. They don't have to see. This is intense. And this is light. So 
so you can just kind of see it in the background. It can build these beautiful designs. Um, how fun are these? I mean, so if you're not doing this, and I don't know if anybody's doing this, but we should all be doing more of this. That's right. You heard it here. Do this because it's fun. <laughs> and um, then, well, wait, wait, where are these really soaky ones? Yeah, let's pull those out. So we did some of the just edged ones, but these are like the super soakies. Let's, let's move these and we'll put four of these down. Where's the lid? There's like nothing has a lid. Who... Who came into the craft room and did this mess that you're going to have to clean up after? You know exactly who. Yeah. She's probably going to leave it till morning, too. Are we kidding? We're not kidding. <laughs> we are late nighting it in the craft room. That's right. And this is fun, and it's quiet in the house, and it's a nice time to craft. So let me try and take the Dunsey so I don't totally destroy them. Ugh, there. Okay, and get these darker ones that have been more saturated. Okay, we'll work with four of these. And let's do some splatter splash. You can also take just little crystals and, and just put little bits. I don't know, because like when it dissolves in the water, I'm sure something's going to happen, right? Not really. Skip that. Um, okay, what's this? This is like a purple. This is probably not going to spray that well, is it? Oh, it does. See? There you think nothing's going to work, and it does. So let's try the stenciling with the spritzing and see if that works. I don't know. These are wet. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay, put it as flat as possible. Probably going to blend all in, but that's okay. Ooh, that's kind of cool. And that's will probably spread, which will be kind of cool. So let's just let that be and see what happens. Now we, I have the reverse here, so I can come along. I could just turn it upside down. I can put it right on here and not waste that. There, let's just try that. That's where I get my hand all purple. But like I said, these should be water soluble and wash off easily with soap and water. Let's hope. Oh, see, now that's cool already. And that could be a bit of a background thing going on. Um, here are, I haven't used these yet. These are pretty. Let's just put this whole thing down. And let's spritz with a different color. Let's spritz with, how about green? Here's some like a little weird green thing, a little baby one. I don't know where this came from. Twisted, what's that say? Citron, okay. No, oh, probably get it flat. Flat helps. Oh, I gotta get this all over the place. Definitely cover whatever you're doing. Yeah, just, just trust me on that one. Okay, I'm gonna put this here. There's another wet one. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. we got to put that somewhere to dry. Where? Over here? Okay, that's really cool, actually. I really like that. I don't know what's going on in here. Let's look. <gasps> that's cool, too. So we're using coffee dye, distress inks. It's just kind of a blurred design, but still pretty. Still pretty. A little white reveal. I like it. Very nice. going to look a completely different look. Okay. Put this one away. Let's get something intense. Oh, look at this. Worn lipstick in the big form. Okay. Let's get this little area covered. We're going to spritz. Maybe we'll do the hearts because, you know, pink hearts. I don't know what the, is going to happen here. What do you think? Oh, oh, that was more like red, for gosh sakes. Looks like blood red or something. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good. All right, let's lay one down on this baby. Mm -hmm. Yep. There we go. Okay. And I guess you guys are done. Okay, very just simple designs, but something different, something on them. Instant papers to play with and use in your junk journaling. Okay. Press, press, press. And what do we get? Oh, that's actually kind of cool. The reverse. So as I don't get, get the glare out of there, I can't get it out of there. I don't know how to do it. But see, we're getting different designs. Kind of cool, right? I know. If I can just pick it up without ripping it, probably not. Okay. I imagine those are going to blend together a little bit more. And I'm going to even sort of lay them across each other where they're drying because I don't really have a big drying area right now set up. So they're going to co-mingle. But I think it's all going to be pretty in the end. And these will be pretty papers to play with. So, what do I do? 
one little, oh, okay. Let's just, you know, I have an idea. I don't know if this is probably not going to work at all, but we're going to try it. I don't know what this is going to be. We're going to try. We're going to and roll it up. Maybe I'm just going to spritz something down here. Not that color. Let's do, what is this? This is tumbled glass. I, I have no idea what I'm doing at this moment. This makes no sense whatsoever. Okay, I'm just rolling, absorbing what's showing. Okay, I don't know why I did that, but we're going to open it up a little bit. Let's see what we got. Let's just kind of, let's just like daubing. Let's just mop, mop up what we used. Never waste anything, right? Maybe get a little more, maybe the upper part. I mean, you can make just like, you don't even have to have a stencil. Just spray it on the paper and then somebody else come along and grab another paper and then mop up your mess of all the stuff that you made or tried to make and pick up all the color that went down. Just keep it, oops, oh, mother. <laughs> this stuff does rip when it's wet, but you're gonna get different fun things to play with. So here's one of our early designs. Uh, not very like, oh my God, but there's something there. It's kind of cool. Then there's th this, which is the mop up. Here's just spraying over top of itself. And here is the pink, uh, oh, can't see it. The pink um, positive and negative designs. Here's the purple little filigree with a little bit of white showing. I think that's kind of cool actually. Um, so you're probably saying, well, what are you gonna do with these? Well, I have to wait for them to dry before I can show you what we're gonna do with these. So we'll probably do that next time or soon. So you can get some ideas of how to play with these pretty papers. But just remember, your mess can actually be your next starting point. So if you've got ink or something all over your desk, this is a good place to start. So let me find Foo Foo Face. It's got to be here somewhere. Hey, little munchkin. Where are you? Oh, you're on the couch. Do you know it's, it's pup date time? It is. It's pup date time. Come on. I know. But it's so late. I know it's late. But we don't do pup. Yes, we do pup dates at night sometimes. Well, I'm not ready. You're, you're ready. You got this. I have full faith in you. All right. Okay. Get yourself situated, mother. Okay. <laughs> Anything could happen at this point. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Sunshine. Cub pup reporter. Um, yes, I'm very nervous. There's a lot of inky stuff. Colors on the table behind Sunshine. Now Sunshine has white fur, mostly, and when he has a clean face. And um, let's just say he might be purple before the night is over, possibly green or worn lipstick pink. It could happen to the best of us. It's happened to Mother, her hands. I don't recognize them anymore. They're funny colors. She must do something about it. She should have done something about it before she picked Sunshine up off the couch. She didn't. She just went for Sunshine and brought him into work. Um, okay, so we don't know what the color of Sunshine's back of his head is or his bottom because that's where she's got him. <laughs> You're so true. But you know what? It's all in a day of crafting, right? Yes. Okay. And you're down with that, right? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Should I put you back in bed? Oh, yes. Okay, very good. All right. Night, night. Night, everybody. <laughs> All right. Well, it might be morning for them, you know, because we put the videos up in the morning. Don't drink the coffee pan. No, he wasn't interested in it. It's not his thing. No, it, it, it doesn't taste like chicken. Okay, this is what mother has. So, um, hang on. Okay, I wanted to reveal a quick swishy wash. It wasn't even a deep wash with a scrubby, but a quick swishy wash. And I probably got 80% of the ink off. So if I'm more diligent, I'll get more of it off. So there you go. Um, that's reality. Okay, so welcome if you're new. Uh, if you've been here a while, thank you for hanging out with us, making paper stuff together. It's so much fun hanging out with all you guys. Hopefully these will be all dry by the morning. Um, if you don't know, 
I have my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, new audio material. Then I also put out video podcasts on Spotify. You can watch any day, any time of the week. There have been five years worth of um, material there, so there's lots to watch and also and listen to. And also, um, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. If you'd like to get a free digital image emailed to you every month, you will get that if you sign up. The link is down below in the description box. Um, you're also going to get a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it, checklist of supplies, and also a page list of ideas on how to break a blank page, all on every edition of the newsletter. And I have an Etsy shop when I have completed journals or bundles or fundles or kits or what have you not. Like right now, I have several. Uh, these are can't see any you can't see anything in here but trust me there's there's fabric in here there's 100 plus pieces no 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 I'm lying there's 40 plus pieces 8 by 10 and smaller here you can put a peek in there see this fabric uh, really cool pieces that are fun to use in junk journal making you also get a triple bonus with the fabric pack um, a very old handwritten letter there's calligraphy that may be 125 years old ish and there's a piece of vintage newspaper and a little collection of vintage postage stamps. It comes automatically with this um, purchase of the fabric pack in the Etsy shop. And I also sell fundals, which are collections of old and interesting paper, uh, antique ledger, checks, receipts, postcards, music paper, um, old, old interesting book pages, dictionary pages, black and white photos, tea cards, you name it, 100 plus pieces. This is where the 100 plus comes in. Also free priority shipping, just like the fabric pack. And yes, that's it with that. And then I sell digi kits, which are printable downloads, five pages in every digi kit themed birds, bees, flowers, butterflies, celestial, Victorian, over 200 to pick from. Um, very fun to use in junk journals for journal cards, journal talks, journal pockets, cover art, things like that, focal points. And I have an Amazon shop. So if you see me use something here, like something like this, and you're like, where do I get that? You can go into my Amazon shop, Paper Outpost Amazon shop, just Google it or, or follow the link down below. And I try to put links to things that you see me use here, yeah, if I can find them in my Amazon shop under favorite tools and supplies. There's a section called Favorite Tools and Supplies. I also have a t-shirt shop. Uh, if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, you can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zip hoodie, a mug, a tote, or a water bottle. Um, you can find me on social media on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges as well as seeing what you guys make from these videos. And then... Um, Remember most of all that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.